Thank you for watching this DS Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at the sales list and sale bulk actions. Let's start by having a look at the sales list screen itself. Navigate to the sales module and select sales from the search section. The sales module has three views, namely the general view, accounting view, and fulfillment view. On the general view, you can view order related info. The accounting view allows you to filter the list by specific accounting related statuses, including draft estimates, all estimates, draft invoices, awaiting payment, all invoices, draft credit notes, among many others. The fulfillment view allows you to filter sales orders by the status of fulfillment related tasks, such as not fulfilled, awaiting picking, ready to pick, ready for partial pick, packing, shipping, and fulfilled, among many others. Note, the columns in this list can be rearranged and resized as needed. As well as being used to change sort order with a simple press of the header. The layout of these views is configurable by clicking the gear icon to the right. Here, you can also reset the layout back to default at any time. Note that you can also filter your sales by required by date here. Additionally, you can filter the sales orders by any of the statuses available in the drop down menu. DIA also allows you to perform certain actions in bulk for selected sales. These actions are available for both simple and advanced sales. Check one or more of the boxes next to individual sales in the general view. The bulk action window will now open. The fill and authorize function allows you to quickly autofill and authorize several steps in the sales process. If any action cannot be performed on one of the sales, either the action will be skipped or an error will be reported for the sale. Each sale is processed independently from the other sales and the list is processed sequentially from top to bottom. Undo allows the undoing of several selected sales and reverts them to draft status. It applies to both simple and advanced sales. Void allows you to void the selected sales. Only select this when completely necessary as the action cannot be reversed. Print allows you to print the chosen documents for all selected sales. A single PDF file containing all the data is printed, with each sale task printed on a separate page. Email enables you to email the chosen document to customers for all selected sales. Individual documents are generated for each sale and saved to attachments. Emailing is done for every selected sale separately. For this function to work, you need to select a document to be used as a templated email body in your documents and email templates. These can be found in Settings, Document and Email Templates. Enter a subject for the template you would like to email. Email subjects can now be customized to include some fields from the related tasks, including contact name, document numbers and dates. Additional info can be found in the tooltip for the email subject field in the document and email templates form. You are also able to upload a Word document that contains the body of your email. And configure email recipients, either all active users, or company contacts, or both. Optionally, if you have an active DEAR Automation Module subscription, you can select a mailing list. Finally, enter any BCC address that will be receiving copies of the emails sent to suppliers or customers. Now, back to our bulk actions. You can export information about selected sales to CSV files by clicking the export. You can export information about selected sales to CSV files by clicking export. In the case of advanced sales, multiple rows will be displayed in the exported documents. These rows will display multiple invoices, credit notes, and shipping locations, among others. When you export accounts receivable, for simple sales, a single line per sale including basic information about the sale will be exported to CSV. When you export 3PL shipment list, sales shipment details will be exported to a CSV list for selected sales. Ship by date is not taken into account when doing a 3PL export. A sale will not be included in the CSV file if the shipment stage is not authorized. Also, for the selected sales to be exported, required by date must be selected and a future date. When you export to CSV format, sales shipment details for selected sales will be exported to a CSV list. This format contains more details about the sale than the accounts receivable export. Upon selecting an order or orders with the status picking from the list shown on the fulfillment view, you can use the picking button that appears to schedule the orders for picking. To do this, click the button, then select schedule for picking. 
Deer then schedules the orders for picking and updates the fulfillment view with the scheduled picking date. To clear the schedule, click the picking button, then clear pick schedule. This will clear the scheduled picking date from the fulfillment view. You can then schedule a picking date for the orders again. To assign a picker to the order or orders, click set picker. Then enter the name of the picker from the select sale picker window. And that concludes this video on the sales order list view and bulk actions.